I come from a family of two parents who were concentration camp survivors. My two parents are the sole survivors of their entire family. And I grew up in a community in Antwerp, Belgium, that was exclusively Holocaust survivors. And in this community, I always saw two groups of people, those who did not die and those who came back to life. And those who did not die lived rather tethered to the ground. The world was a dangerous place. You could not trust and certainly you could not enjoy or experience pleasure because if you did, it meant you went not on guard and if you were not on guard, shit could happen. And those who came back to life are those who understood the erotic. Eroticism as a life force, not just in its modern, narrow definition of sex, but basically, how do you reimagine yourself? How do you reinvent yourself? How do you bring back an energy, a vitality, an aliveness? And it was my parents who inspired me to look at it like that. So much of what I try to do is actually help people connect with their aliveness. And aliveness goes with meaning, goes with purpose, goes with creativity, goes with playfulness, and goes with connection to oneself, to, the, to one's partners, families, and to the world, to the politics of the world. And I think much of what you will hear from me comes from this source. This is probably what has influenced the most how I think, how I look at the world, what I do, and so forth. 